Let's watch some matches played by GP365 and Friends Club members vs strong serve big forehand players in the Tour 7, 8 and 9 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell if you like this video. So most of matches played in this video feature counter punches but also volley players now and then versus strong serve and now and then very fast serve big forehand weak backhand players but in some matches the backhand will be uh, quite strong to counter the shots of uh, volley players of Kaito so in the first match we see sent one of our best counter punches versus Omer one of the uh, specialists of high serve big forehand now and then Omer hit home runs and you can see that uh, Sent was uh, trying to counter with the bunny cord which is uh, not too bad for use versus uh, high serve big forehand players it has a forehand counter ability a long catch tier 2 which is uh, quite dangerous actually because uh, it drains stamina a lot if you activate long catch too often especially because uh, you only have a stamina shield in tier 1 and not tier 2 like with the ox cord the good thing the main advantage is uh, the forehand counter and the long catch so if you use this combo often enough that can be good and that was the case here but you need to end rallies pretty fast yeah we can feel Omer's frustration we found a long catch here too that was clearly impossible for this Kaito of Scent to do something especially because the Scent doesn't have a high stats enough Kaito alright let's watch now a match between team 365 versus Star Pack team was using the serve volley style so team 365 serves very well generally so that can be a very good thing versus high serve big forehand players who are generally playing with a low agility but it's not only the serve which is useful for team 365 it's also his uh, very nice volley skills yeah, as you can see, Team 365 serve was absolutely outstanding in this match. The Tapak hasn't resigned yet. He's trying to hit some nice shots. The return of Team 365 was not so on point. Sometimes that one was a very nice soft cross course shot. When I say soft, it's especially given the fact that Victoria can hit very stronger shots. That lob was absolutely splendid. So if in the first match, the thing that uh, we need to keep in mind is that uh, with Kaito, you counter high serve big forehand players with soft cross course shots, some drop shots, and take advantage of the low agility of the high serve big forehand build. In this second match, we can keep in mind that hitting very strong serves is absolutely compulsory to outflank those low agility, strong serve, big forehand builds. And of course, returning nice volleys is very indispensable and team 365 can hit some very nice volley so let's watch the third match between Rona 365 and Fox XP Fox XP is uh, quite famous for his ability to run absolutely everywhere on the court very fast so the name and the uh, avatar profile picture is quite adequate he's really quick like a fox but Rona 365 is going to show that uh, the Sibran wire 
and the long catch here too can be pretty helpful especially when you use an agile counter puncher build so uh, Rona 365 doesn't have very high stats yet and Fox XP has a very nice forehand stat and a 68 agility which is clearly very nice too but at relatively high agility for a high big forehand and a huge forehand stat is not always enough versus a defensive based liner build the forehand is easily countered by the forehand counter ability of the Syrian wire and if Rona 365 can end rallies pretty fast yep that was perfectly positioned there the Florence of Rona 365 anticipated very nicely and on this match point Fox XP tried to force a bit the shot instead of controlling it and hit the LA this is a bit out of frustration I guess let's watch now a match between Mao Li and Jason 76 of serve of Jason is pretty high it's the same stat than the agility of uh, Mao Li's Kaito 76 too but Jason is creating a lot of uh, spaces for Mao Li to hit in Jason didn't cover some zones of the court he left a lot of court open and Mauli was just waiting for the gift so Mauli tried now and then to wrong foot Jason by hitting on the strong hand but most of the time he's of course going to try and insist on hitting the backhand side of Jason which is uh, the weak hand like here and obviously Jason was put in a difficult position every time that Maoli hit on his backhand so the choice of Jason to play with the swallow poly may not be uh, the best one here he should have used Maestro Monty instead to drain less stamina and the nylon string used by Maoli was way enough given the uh, stamina of Kaito let's watch now a match between Denal and versus Nandred decent serve strong forehand so the serve stats of Nandred was uh, superior to uh, Denal and Sagility and the forehand of uh, Nandred was uh, much higher than the volley stat of Denel N. But the good thing is that Denel N serve stat is pretty higher than Nandred's agility, so he can rely on his serve to put Nandred in a difficult position or to even serve plenty of aces that was very nicely anticipated Nandred anticipated very nicely on that uh, serve to turn around and hit with the strong hand nicely volley As you can see this serve of Nandred is quite strong for the Nandred's agility so he could keep initiative very easily after the serve and hit some strong forehand winners but the low agility of Nandred which is the common problem for high serve big forehand players is going to spoil his chance to win that match As you can see that on the previous point where Nandred had a lot of difficulty to run towards the drop volley 
Very nice forehand winner. But whenever Dean Allen can serve on the backhand, obviously, Nandret was a kind of doom. Very nice passing shot. Very strong and accurate. Another very nice forehand winner. But a very nice cross volley here from Dina Lane. And a nice serve on the backhand. Everything is possible. With the quick catch. And Dina Lane is going to hop to get one. Here he didn't have to use a quick catch. A simple volley was enough. Nandret's Victoria was too slow to get to the good zone. Let's watch another match play between Sent and Omer. Sent was again using the bunny cord. And he was abusing the long catch. That can be very frustrating actually. To play with Heiser, big forehand versus a Kaito using long catch tier 2. I know that very well because I have played with high serve big forehand Victoria a lot versus Kaito using forehand counter and long catch having even stamina shield tier 2. And that is very frustrating but fortunately for me not all Kaito's Defend like sent. Sent has a, a lot of patience. And he has some very nice defensive shots. Omer was hitting some very nice cross cross shots. And this Kaito was trying to return uh, all shots, hoping to wear Omers out. And that is a good thing to do too. To try and wear Victoria's out. And with a lower stamina, the accuracy is uh, slower too for Omer. And on this match point, we can clearly feel Omer's frustration again. That is very hard, really, to outflank Kaito using long catch tier 2. I can understand his frustration. Well, let's watch now the Florence of Rona 365 versus uh, Jonah playing with uh, strong sir, big forehand, very decent backhand. And Rona 365 is going to try and wear this Jonah out by playing on Winshin Wiper mode. Yeah. Almost there. It would be very beautiful if it was in. So, of course, when you play with a defensive baseliner style, you can just do that. That can work too. Just try to return own shots. Absolutely own shots. Just trying to be accurate. And wait for the opponent to commit the uh, unforced error or forced error first. Or simply wait for your opponent to be uh, very tight and then you hit the ball towards an empty zone the open court side and that was what Rona 365 did beautifully 
Let's watch now the match between Maori365 and a player's name that I can pronounce, Japanese name. And it starts with a non force error. Here again, Mali can just do that. What I was describing by the end of uh, the previous match. Trying to return own shots with accuracy and wait for the opponent to commit to the error first. Or to attack either on the weak hand or on the strong hand while trying to wrong foot the opponent Out. too bad it couldn't have been beautiful there wrong foot thing perfectly So in this match, Mali was uh, clearly trying to hit where this Victoria was not. Some shots were really violent, super strong and accurate. And one match point to save for Mali, which he did perfectly. Taking advantage of an unforced error. That cross score shot was awesome. That forehand winner from the Japanese player was very nice too. And now, play league with Nylon. The Kaito of Maui is having a small problem. If he can't end the match quickly. Fortunately for Maoli, Japanese player was anticipating for him to hit on the strong hand side and he didn't play that way. Very nice end of match of Maoli. Let's watch now a match between Rona 365 and Set Sasa, Rona 365 is going to use the volley, serve volley style. He's not playing with uh, Florence as usual. Some very big forehand shots from Set Sats. Definitely not easy for Leo to return those. You need to be uh, on the trajectory and even then it's not even sure that the quick catch can be activated when the shots are so strong. But it's still possible to do something. And we will see how. So of course Leo's legendary serve is going to be helpful to get some points so that was uh, nicely anticipated at first but Rona to try couldn't do nothing this is the other big shots here we go one quick catch to start another quick catch it's quick catch time for Leo and as I like to say in my uh, videos where I play with Servole when it's quick catch time, you can hardly do anything with this Leo. And Set Sat is feeling that Rona 365 is coming back. So he's going to force a bit more, hit stronger shots. But the low agility of Victoria is going to be a big problem for Set Sat. He had many match points tough. Out. 
and roll out to 6-5. Did very well with that quick catch to save the previous match point. Yeah, there was nothing to do here. Once again, a very nice ace. And very fortunately for Rona365, Set Sass hit that strong shot in the net. That can happen more often when you try to hit a very strong shot and that your character is near the net. Will that be enough? Yes, that was! On an intimate smash. And thanks to plenty of quick catches previously, where well, Set Sass can only laugh by the end. There was nothing he could do. Let's watch now a match between the Kaito of Scent and the powerful Luke of uh, Shin. So Shin is not a specialist of high serve big forehand. He's only playing with this style now and then. Still, the difference of uh, total power and of stats is uh, huge. Luke's was really more powerful than this Kaito. And Shin was uh, hitting very nicely too, some shots. But the bunny cord is obviously going to help Sent. Very nice forehand winner there. That was exactly what you need to do versus uh, slow high uh, big forehand players. You draw them to one point, you create an empty space, an open court, and you hit where your opponent is not. That seems simple, not always easy to do. But it is much easier to do that when your opponent is low on stamina, and that is the case now. Luke has very few stamina, and the court was completely open, and Sand was only waiting for that. Obviously, he was not going to refuse the opportunity to hit the winner in that uh, open court. Well, I hope you enjoy watching members of the GP365 and Friends Club uh, Counter high serve big forehand players in the Tour 7, 8 and 9 of Tennis Clash, a sports game published by Wide Life Studios. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel Gameplay365 and to turn on the bell to stay tuned for new videos of Tennis Clash. Thank you a lot for your support and see you soon on Gameplay365. Bye bye.